In this video, we're going to be taking a look at a very common task and one that is a little bit complicated um, from a mathematical standpoint, but we've modified um, EasyStone to make this process much, much easier. And what we're talking about is when we're creating uh, layouts with multiple stone sizes next to one another. And you'll see that in both of these designs, the spacing between stones between each row is very uniform and specific. And that uh, previously was always a complicated matter. And rather than discuss all the ins and outs, I think it's best we just show you an example or two so you get a better understanding of what's going on here. So Easy Stone has always had this capability. We're going to go ahead and draw, drag out a circle. We'll set our stone size to SS10 stones. We'll come over here to the Stone Field tab. We'll do two offsets. Now this value right here is automatically calculated for us. And that value, that offset value, it comes from the stone size and the spacing. So if you add those two values together, you can see that value is there. If we change our stone size, you can see that that value is automatically updated anytime we change our stone size. Now, we're going to do two island fills. If we right click on island fill, it'll offset to the outside of our current selection. Or if we left click, then it would obviously offset to the inside. So we'll right click to offset to the outside. We'll come in here, we'll add some stones, and you can see that that offset is perfect. But in that scenario, we're using the same size stone. Well, in the scenario where it gets complicated is when we're using different size stones. So let's look at that scenario. The first thing, of course, we have to know what it is we want. And what we're going to do for this example is we're going to do the existing circle SS10 stones. We're going to do two rows of SS20s to the outside and we're going to do one row of SS6 to the inside. So that's what we want and let me show you how easy it is to do it with the new features here inside Easy Stone. So we'll come to the Stone Field tab. We have our existing circle which we're going to place SS10 stones on but now I want to create two circles to the outside of SS20s. So how do we do it? Well here's what we're going to do. We're going to click on this button and we're going to say go from 10 to 20 and right click on create offset to create that initial offset. Now we need to create one more path to the outside for SS20s. So to do that we're just going to use the standard island fill function for that. So we just come over here and we're going to go ahead and right click uh, on SS20. That sets our stone size to SS20. The amount of offsets automatically updated so we're going to go one right click to the outside. Now we're going to go ahead and prepare our SS6 row. So we're going to go back to our advanced dialog box and we're going to go from 10 to 6 and of course we're going to just click on create offset to offset to the inside. So now we're ready to add stones. So we'll start with our outside row which we're going to the first row we're going to do it in jet black and we'll hit add stones. The second row I'm going to switch over to hot pink and these new color buttons along the bottom really really cool so just right click that sets our stone color to hot pink and we'll go ahead and choose add stones for it now the next row we're going to do an ss tens so we can right click on our ss10 button and that we're going to do in crystal so right click on crystal and choose add stones and lastly of course our ss6 row we're going to right click on ss6 we're going to do those in pink so right click on our pink square and hit add stones and there you have it. You have a perfect offset, various different size stones, and it's very, very easy to do. No more sitting with a calculator, figuring it out. No more guesswork. Um, you know, oh, that's too much, that's too little, or remembering all these crazy values in your head. Now, Easy Stone will make all of those calculations for you. And all of that is based on the data that you input. So right here for stone spacing, um, that gives you our distance between each row. But also, if we click on set stone sizes and spacing, the fixed size values that are user defined, um, you enter those and that's what it makes all these calculations based off of. So it's really a quite advanced tool 
um, from a programming standpoint, but from a use standpoint, I think it's really simple to use once you understand exactly how it works, and I think you'll find it incredibly useful. So now we know kind of the basics of how the tool works. I thought it might be fun just to actually work on just a little simple project so you can see where we might utilize this tool. So we're going to grab our text tool, and I'm from Iowa, and I had someone the other day say, hey, do you have any cool Iowa designs? And sadly, even though I live in Iowa, I hadn't really done much with Iowa. But what we're going to do is we're going to create a little decal design. So here's just the letter I, of course. We're going to use our college font. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a simple little decal. And what we want to do is uh, we want to uh, create this simple little decal. And we want to uh, have a shadow. Uh, so we're going to show you how we're going to create this decal. It's, it's a real simple little project. So we have our uh, letter I here. We're going to come over here to the stone fill tab. So the letter I is going to be solid. It's going to be filled with SS10 stones. But then the shadow is going to have two rows of SS6 stones. So what we would do is come into our advanced function here. And we're going to go, of course, from 10 to 6, right? So there's 10 to 6. And we're going to go to the outside. So right click to create offset. And we'll right click on a color to give that offset a color that you can see there. So then we're going to go from 6 to 6, right? So to go from 6 to 6, we'll use our regular island fill. And we'll go ahead and right click on island fill. And there we went from 6 to 6. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take our initial eye. Let's set that to citrine. And go to tens. And we'll go ahead and add stones. Then what we're going to do to our offset right here, we're going to just set that to jet black and sixes and go ahead and add stones to it. And we're going to go ahead and add stones to it. All right, so now we kind of have the basis of the design. Now here's where kind of the fun part comes in a little bit. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and delete our stone paths. And we're going to delete some of our shadow. So some of this black that we created, we actually don't need. So let's just come in here, delete the part that we don't need, which is a lot of it. And we'll come up here and delete all of that. Okay, so we're going to delete that one. We're going to delete all of that. We're going to delete this, and we're going to delete that. So now you can kind of see we have this shadow going on, right? But I said I wanted my eye to be all filled in. All right, so what we're going to do here is we're just going to take this. Uh, we're going to just take this whole row. And all I'm going to do is just right click. And in fact, I can just use my space bar too. See that there? Now, you got a bunch of overlaps, but we're not going to sweat that, right? Because we can use our check spacing to get rid of those. And that takes care of all the overlaps. And then we're going to do the, kind of the same thing here. Where we're going to take all of these circles here and we'll go ahead and copy them down like so but now what we need to do is we need to go ahead and spread that whole row apart so we'll hit H and you can see that those stones are kind of close together so maybe we'll delete that and we'll select that whole row again and again we'll hit H and that's better Okay, that, that will set us up a little bit better. And same thing, just space bar. And all I'm doing is hovering over the center and hitting the space bar. So you can see it's very simple. Oops. And in fact, probably what I would do is I'd probably just come in here and grab a bigger swath. Do something like that. That brings us back down to this point, and at this point, I would just copy this row up. Oops. Hit the space bar. Something to that effect. And then what we'll do is we'll come in here. I'll tell you what we'll do here. You see the, how that is a little bit more spacing there? Let's just select that and hit H. Now we have lots of overlaps here, which is okay. We could just delete a few and we'll just hit H again. 
still some overlapping stones and we'll hit H one more time that's still a little bit close H one more time that gets it pretty close there what are we looking at that looks good up there so now we need to run the check spacing function on everything so now we've run the check spacing function on everything and so now to kind of finish this off what we could do is go ahead and add a weed box and that is kind of the finished decal now here's the thought process on this decal when you go to actually make it is the the letter I obviously is going to be an SS10 citrine the shadow is going to be done in jet black and SS10s and so this way we can cut this all on a single template we'll drop in our tens first followed by our sixes and away we go so that just gives you a quick idea of a, a little project that you can utilize that uh, technique on where you're doing different uh, different size stones right next to one another and that new advanced uh, offset function here inside easy stone thanks for watching